the previous video tutorial, I, I'm kind of doing this out of order, but um, uh, the previous video tutorial should have shown you how to train up multiple uh, CLS pilots at once using a discoverer ship or multiple discoverer ships. And uh, you'll see here that I have plenty of commodity pilots, and most of them are already fully trained to logistician. So all I need is a nice new shiny ship uh, to put them in to where they can uh, do some real damage here. I've got a Mistral Super Freighter that is fully upgraded. And uh, you can get into the specifics of only uh, exactly what you need to be able to do these things with, but at this point in the game I really don't bother. It's not that expensive. And anytime you spend two to four million on a ship, um, I just go ahead and I throw every upgrade on it because uh, well, with the exception of Trade Command Software Mark III, because I know I'm not going to turn, uh, turn him into a universal trader. But uh, the good thing about this is, is I can reassign this ship at any point in the game, give him a temporary duty. I mean, he can be a CLS pilot. I can turn him around and make him a CAG pilot for a little while until I meet an objective and then send him back to being CLS without having to reconfigure the ship. So anyways, I've got this fully upgraded. And now all I need to do is move one of these logistician pilots over into this super uh, freighter and I can start uh, making him run these mundane tasks for me. Um, so let's do that first and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do. So let's select the pilot and pull up the trade menu and go down to start external commodity logistics. Then I'm going to select trader settings and I'm going to reassign this trader from the discoverer to the super freighter. And when I select that, it gives you a list of all the ships that are in that station and available for me to choose. So I'm going to choose this ship that I have renamed CLS-1. Um, you get that nice little R2-D2 kind of sound that lets you know it was successful. Um, it's a little bit of a buzzing, annoying alarm sound if something goes wrong. And some of the things that can be wrong are you know, sometimes you'll give the order and the ship's not even in the station. It's kind of easy to do. Um, or you don't meet the, uh, it doesn't meet the uh, minimum prerequisites as far as gear goes. But um, So that's done. He's transferred. Now if I pull up information on here, you'll see that there's no rank. And I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, but basically the rank won't show up on the new ship until you give him his first order. But if I pull up the rank on the previous ship, you'll see that it is in fact gone, and this is just a normal pilot. Now I'm going to go ahead and recycle him so I always have these pilots training and ready to go. And this is going to be quick and easy. Pull up trade, start external commodity logistics. Now I'm going to go to data storage and load my newbie training routine that I've already prepared uh, in the previous video tutorial. Load it and then all I have to do is start external commodity logistics. Command accepted. And off he goes. He's starting to train and it reassigns him the rank of apprentice because he's starting over. Okay, let's get this guy doing some good for me. Um, as part of the plot, and again this contains spoilers, um, I have this uh, Teladianium Plex and it is getting mostly full and because uh, because this material takes up so much space um, I can only fit about 3,000 units into a fully upgraded Mistral Super Freighter. So this would be a lot of trips, especially to do manually. So this is a perfect thing for a CLS pilot to do, just to automate moving this moving this stuff from my Plex here over to my hub. So let's select him and set up some waypoints. Now if I pull up Trade, Start External Commodity Logistics, and I look at his waypoints, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, these are still here from the training routine, so I'm just going to delete all waypoints. And now I can create my own. So under waypoints, let's add a station. I'm going to come down to the station I want to move my stuff from, which is my Teladionium Plex. I'm going to select load, and that means load it into my ship. Select the uh, material I want to move and how much. Um, this is the only thing I'm moving, so I'm going to move it up to my maximum cargo space, fill it up. Alright, that waypoint is set. Now let's add a station. And hotkey over to my hub sector. Select the hub. Now I'm going to unload it from my ship. 
and the only thing I can unload is the material I've loaded and up to maximum cargo space unload it all okay now I have the two waypoints set up I can escape out of that and hit start external commodity logistics command accepted. it accepts, accepts the command I'll turn on SATA here real quick so we can watch this work okay now he's flying something I didn't check um, I want this to get done quickly so I'm gonna spend the money on the energy cells and I'm gonna let him jump instead of just fly so let's go down to uh, start external commodity logistics again and go to jump drive settings turn jump drive on it's a toggle and everything else default is okay jump drive energy we want to keep 1500 energy cells in uh, the freight bay so he will um, he will restock it. Minimum jump uh, jump range. Um, anything under whatever number you have here, if he's going to that sector as a destination, he will simply fly through the gates. Um, I want it at one because I just want him to jump and get it over with. So I'm going to hit escape and start this again Come so that's committed. Accepted. And now he should jump out of sector and down into ore belt where my station is and there he goes so let's pull this up and make sure he's there yep he's in ore belt okay you can't really speed up too much the flying through space here so I'm gonna pause the video until he gets to my uh, plex and I'll be back okay he's almost there um, you can see that this point in my mission I still owe 54,000 uh, units so we'll keep an eye on that and see just how well uh, this guy is doing his job. Okay, he just docked and undocked, and you will see that. Sure enough, he followed his waypoint. He loaded 2,913 uh, Teladionium in, and pretty much maxes out his cargo. Now he should jump, and he already did. He jumped to the second waypoint which is the hub and he's on his way to um, to unload now once he gets there he will unload uh, everything in and in this case uh, he's he's able to unload all of this material at once because there's no uh, limit to how much you can put into the hub at one time and then he'll jump back and start the process all over again until there's nothing for him to haul or I tell him to stop Okay, he's unloaded all of his freight. If I pull up the mission objective, you'll see that, sure enough, it's dropped by 3,000. So he made the delivery and I got the credit for it. And now he's just going to rinse and repeat that over and over again. And I don't have to worry about hauling that stuff. So that's one example of using uh, CLS to automate moving stuff uh, between uh, stations and factories that you own.